I did not know about the program in advance. <clears throat> uh, I was home listening and heard it just as everybody else did and said to my wife, I think I'd better go into the office <laughs> because I think there's going to be a lot of audience reaction and I'd like to capture it from a research point of view. Uh, so we drove in and got in just before the program ended. No, the program had just ended. And when I walked in the building, you could sense that all hell had broken loose. And uh, I got on the phone and formulated a, a questionnaire, called an outfit in Atlanta who had a, a national field force that I knew I could press into operation quickly. And uh, the next day, the morning after, uh, we did, uh, I think, over 2,000 interviews face-to-face uh, -face from coast-to-coast -coast on that broadcast. So we had good information and had it fast and uh, had a lot of copy and made a lot of copy with it because the press didn't have anything except the broadcast. And uh, there were a lot of scare stories about how people packed up and decided to get out and so forth. But uh, we had a good statistical base for the answer. The name of the company was Hooper Homes. And uh, I had used them before, not on an emergency basis, but they had, a, they had a, an insurance checking service where they would go out and check the character and quality of the people they were insuring. So they were familiar with meeting people and getting information. <clears throat> well, what did the research tell you? Well, it showed a tremendous audience. A lot of people on the eastern part of, in the eastern part of the company, particularly New Jersey and eastern Pennsylvania, uh, had decided they'd better get out. Uh, one man <clears throat> said that he was glad that the end had come because he had overdrawn his bank account <laughs> and his wife had found out about his mistress. <laughs> <laughs> this guy lived in New Jersey and I kept his name and address and years later uh, called him and asked him whether he'd, his life had settled down. <laughs> but uh, we got that kind of first-hand information which was interesting in itself uh, and became the material for a book that I think Hazel Godet did uh, as part of another project I was involved in at Princeton. And uh, what I was going to say was that, that uh, management, meaning Paley and Keston and Clauber, uh, and, the people, and the program people had some hard facts that they could talk from when they were being hammered by the press and also by Washington. Were they appalled the, by the reaction? The management? Yes. I think we were all shaken up by it. Uh, if, if we had had any sense of what was going to happen, the program would have been framed in a way that would have put the audience on the alert. It was there, but you had to have a, a, a magnifying glass to find it. And uh, Wells was a very skillful producer and did a fantastic job in making that a realistic radio program. That's the, that taught the company and the industry a lesson about fooling with uh, programs in terms of the, the trustworthiness of the broadcast. 